clear up a bunch of things for me. First of all, someone tells me 20 minutes if you wait, the coronavirus will die on a surface. Then someone told me 72 hours. So in general, when the virus is dried, it can live for hours, sometimes a little bit more on surfaces. That doesn't mean it's infectious. So if you look at almost all the cases in the United States, China, and Korea, they were spread by droplets. Droplets happen when you breathe and when you cough. And so on surfaces doesn't seem to me the dominant mode of spread. That's not to say there's not a little bit of virus there, but in general, no. And this virus, you know, it's got a surrounding that is so sensitive to alcohol and soap. So you wash it with alcohol or Purell, it's clean. The virus is dead. All right. So if I'm in New York and I'm getting food deliveries, what do you think of the idea of putting the food in the microwave oven for 20 seconds? Listen, the best way to do it is that your delivery person comes, you put a pair of gloves on, you take the bag, you put it on one place on the counter, you take the food out, put it on a plate, throw the bag away and wipe the counter with a detergent and then you're fine. But can um, it live on the food? It's not going to live on the food. We're not getting food transmission uh, of the virus. And so, so, so you, you can certainly microwave if you want it hot, but I, I wouldn't worry about eating food. Some of us are thinking that you need hot water to wash your hands. Does the temperature of the water matter? Does not matter. When you saw guys like Jim Baker going around talking about this silver solution is the cure, that's all bullshit, right? Yes, it's all bullshit. Anything you read on the internet that you know is not commonplace, there's no secret cure out there, there's no secret prevention, there's no secret pill to take, there's no secret test that somebody is selling that the government doesn't have. All of that is bullshit. If I catch the virus, can I catch it again? The answer to that is we just don't know yet because the first case of this virus happened in December. So what we do know is that for a month or two, you can't. What's going to happen a year, two, three years from now, we just don't know. My gut is, like other coronaviruses, you're probably going to be immune, but we don't know the answer yet. Should we be wearing masks? We've heard that the mask is bullshit. So the virus is very small. Um, the best mask is called an N95 mask. The 95 means that it filters out 95% of particles in the air, the virus can actually go through it. So the, vi the mask can block droplets. Most Asian countries, when you cough, you wear a mask, so you don't expel droplets to others. So wearing a mask, if you don't have the virus, isn't gonna do very much at all. I'll give you some rumors that I heard. Go you ahead. can't take ibuprofen, that's not true. If you drink warm water, that's another one, it will you know, not let the virus get into your lungs. That's not true either. What is the world going to look like when um, no one can dye their hair anymore? A lot of people, we're going to see real true aging, aren't we? Yes. And that's, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>